Hey everybody, it's Brian. It's Jeff. Red Dirt Cryptids. Um, we are heading out on what I guess you would call a paranormal case. Not our normal cup of tea, I guess you would say. But I uh, had a couple of my students report to me that uh, they had encountered something at the old Imo Cemetery. A uh, place that I used to go to whenever I was a... Uh, spry young lad to see the glowing headstone maybe some of you guys have heard about the glowing headstone did they what about you Jeff was that a thing when you were no really okay well anyway I, I, I know my brother uh, went out there so what happened was the they came in all excited it was Burkhart and Lascano shout out and uh they said that they were out there, and uh, they were out there in the middle of the night or whatnot. So they uh, claimed that they saw a woman in white out in the uh, out in the cemetery. And to be honest with you, that's a new one on me. Um, I always heard about the glowing headstone and stuff, but uh, yeah, never heard of the woman in white. So. Anyway, I thought we would uh, take an opportunity to uh, swing by, check it out. Okay. Anyway, uh, we'll bring you with us. Yeah. We know more than got there, and the wind picked up, and the temperature started dropping, and it was just cold as heck. Sorry about the wind.
are. This wind just kind of came out of nowhere. We uh, we decided we're getting the hell out of here. Mother Nature did not approve of us coming out here and doing this last time. Uh, Is this rock here last time? I think so. I remember seeing a couple of scabs like this. Huh. Shame people come out here and knock these tombstones down. Oh, you, uh. Oh, wait a minute. I think I found a clue. Yeah. A clue as to, uh, how that woman in white that uh, my students saw, yeah. how that manifested. Bush light. You. That's. Now that's fresh. <laughs> still, there's still beer in there. Uh, like you can tell that uh, Last Connell and Burkhardt have been here recently. Uh, This whole world was yeah. so different from ours. Yeah. Cut yourself shaving, you might get sucked up and die. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it was kind of real. Yeah. You know, people died from toothaches back then. Yeah. saying that there's not anything paranormal going on out here, it's just saying that we've got no evidence of it, which is, yet. it's usually the uh, standard SOP on this stuff. Huh. But I think uh, there might be something to look into, the first uh, is uh, on that Unsolved Mysteries of the Reservation, they have a Love that. podcast that was called Winter, Winter Spirits. And they talk about, uh, you know, there's just some stories and some things you don't talk about until winter time comes. And, uh, and for some reason, the cold snaps will kind of bring uh, some kind of, and they don't use the term demonic, but just kind of things that oppress and make people sad and whatever. And, and It uh, is proven that depression is at a height during yeah. the winter. <clears throat> and he kind of gives a couple of nods to... Uh, I think the Seminoles, uh, I could be wrong, but whatever, <coughs> it was his tribe. I guess his tribe goes around and, uh, and has met good medicine for these people on the land. Mm -hmm. I thought, you know, that might, might be something to kind of <coughs> look into. Look at this, somebody's been over here just scratching. Wait a minute, look at this. Look at this, there's scratches on this tombstone. Uh, you think that's something some kids would do? Huh. That's strange. 
Not, There's none not, on this side. Not unless it's been knocked down. And put back up. And try to put back that bit and then glue it again. But it's pretty solid. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Man, I love that podcast. Everybody comes to these graveyards and there's, there's all kinds of people that report seeing stuff, but there's also, this This is usually a hot spot for, you know, like Bigfoot, Dogman, and even little people. Little people are reported to be around these cemeteries. I'm not, what was that? I'm not picking anything up here. Let's go back over here. Hey Jeff, come over here. Was this uh was this like this the last time we were here? No. It wasn't, was it? Uh, Somebody's using tombstones and they had a fire in here. Yeah, looks like it did it. That's very disrespectful. Is this what we're doing? Is we're making a fire ring out of tombstones? Yeah. It's kind of a douchebag move. You picking up anything on the flare, Sage? Nope. Hmm. Well, let's uh, let's go over here and check out that one headstone that was warmer. Yeah. Sage, what about these two headstones? Does one look hotter than the other? The one closest to me does. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now it's, oh yeah. Nothing. Well, there's a reason. What's that the reason? The reason is, that's marble, and that one's metal. Oh. I didn't realize it until I stuck my hand on it. ones over there call it but there used to be this rotating light on top of the water tower at Vance Air Force Base and it had a red light and a blue light and they rotated and every time the blue light would come around it would uh, shine on that thing and it would make it look like it glowed for a second and that was it and I was not of the opinion it was paranormal the weird thing was, is why didn't the red light fly? Well, we're going to go ahead and say that this concludes the investigation. We uh, did not find anything paranormal. We didn't pick up anything unusual on the EMF detector, which to be quite honest with you, I don't, I don't know how this works or not, but. Uh, Are you not, you not a fan of it yet? Or? I don't know, I'm not a believer, but. Uh, 
we, uh, yeah, it was cold. Yeah. It was cold. And we did find the, the beer can, which is, uh, it is evidence, but it's uh, not evidence that supports the paranormal. Yeah, it supports the hooligan stuff. Yeah, it, it supports the hood rat theory. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. We're going to have to uh, say that we didn't really find anything conclusive. No, but, you know, hopefully people watch and like the video and uh, give us some comments and more data and we come back mm -hmm. out or just see go from there, you know? Yeah, and if anybody sees anything out here and has any kind of encounters, there was no moon out tonight. I don't know if that has any effect on it, but just reach out to us and let us know and uh, just out of curiosity, you know. But anyway, later. Here's a few photos of Imo Cemetery during the daytime that we took. As you can see, there's nothing out of the ordinary, just a normal cemetery. It is a shame, though, that a lot of people seem to think that they need to come out here and kick over headstones for jollies. It's kind of a juvenile thing to do. But anyway, um, as you can see, we really didn't find anything paranormal in nature. So we'll just let that be the conclusion.